guys, welcome back to Thanks to Trey. So today we're gonna be talking about how to properly exfoliate. Let's get right into it. Okay guys, so this is an exfoliation glove. Yes, exfoliation glove, not a bath glove. There's a huge difference there. A bath glove is just gonna clean your skin. It's not going to exfoliate. This, you know, obviously you can't feel it, but it's rougher. Even when it's wet, it's gonna be rough and it's gonna really get down and make sure that you don't get those ingrown hairs, make your skin smoother. So what is exfoliation? Exfoliation is, what well, we're talking about physical exfoliation. So what that is basically is and then when it is time so let's say you're waxing or even shaving I can't guarantee you with shaving the waxing is the way to go but when it's time for the hair to grow back up what usually happens is there'll be the dead skin on the top because you're not exfoliating so it'll end up curving back down which would cause an ingrown hair so that's why it's important to always make sure that you're exfoliating so therefore there's nothing that will block that ingrown hair I will say that sometimes you will end up still getting ingrowns like me I exfoliate 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 I still end up getting them sometimes but this can more so be about preventing more than it is about um, completely getting rid of them always so I will say um, if I do exfoliate like I should between waxes I'll get maybe like um, five ingrowns or less but if I don't literally no lie I'll get about like 20 so just know if you haven't really been exfoliating as you should this is definitely something I recommend there is chemical exfoliations I would recommend just starting with this and if you do see a product that you would want to try try it out I haven't found any that I would personally recommend to you but I recommend this just in case you know you would get a a skin reaction you know you never know so it's best to just start small with this if you do have a severe ingrowns that end up getting big and cyst like I would recommend going to a dermatologist so right on into the instructions of how to exfoliate what you do is I'm gonna tell you how to do it and I'm gonna tell you how often so you put the glove on this is pretty self-explanatory you put the glove on whatever wash you use um, like whatever soap you use even a bar of soap you'll rub it up and then you would just wash like normal um, they do have body scrubs I just really like this because you're more in control and sometimes with the body scrub you'll be using it in the water or just be washing it off or you're not truly being able to direct that pressure where you want it so like I said you'll be here and then you'll just apply pressure with the soap pressure pressure if you don't want to use soap that's fine the reason I recommend using soap is because you don't want to be rubbing dirt into your pores so obviously just do it in the shower um, it is good to exfoliate your entire body but if you are like I don't want to get ingrowns that's the main reason exfoliate the area that you did get wax or that you do shave okay so this is for waxing um, I'll try to think of what shaving would be like but I haven't done that in a while because I'm a waxer but anyway so with this you're gonna make sure let's say if you're new to waxing you never got waxed before exfoliate leading up to your wax but stop two days before even if you've been getting waxed stop two days before your wax and don't wax until two days after your wax or until the area doesn't feel like so sensitive or that your pores are open okay so let's say you get ingrowns more frequently like me you would do it every other day so let's say you would start on Monday then Tuesday you don't do it Wednesday you do it again that's what I mean by every other day now let's say you barely get them or you don't get them at all mind you if you don't get them at all I've had clients they never got them they said I don't get those it's important to exfoliate because just because you don't get them now does not mean you won't get them later I've had clients the dead skins just building and building and building so uh, I, although um, waxing is a form of exfoliation too that's why you wait the two days still it gives the skin just time to build up that dead skin over the time waxing isn't going to get all of it it's a consistent thing so they just exfoliate as well let's say you're one of those I would say do it every two days so you would do it Monday skip Tuesday skip Wednesday do it Thursday and so on and so forth when you know your wax is up please try to stop the day two days before I was wondering I used to always say that but I never knew why so I wanted to try it out one time so what I did was I kept exfoliating my underarms every single day 
and it ended up getting raw because I went really low so basically you you're only getting the dead skin you keep going low you're gonna expose that you're gonna expose that new layer of skin you're gonna go lower and lower so that was just a little experiment for me so I could tell people why because my clients were saying well why can't you you know so I always want to be able to answer every question that comes at me so that's basically it um, if you guys do have any questions comment below I think I went over everything oh yes also you want to be throwing these away every time you get waxed so every month honestly it's really every two weeks so when you buy it just buy two so you could just throw it out after you get done using it make sure you wash it out because like I said this is scraping the dead skin off your body and you don't want to keep using it because then you're putting bacteria in your pores which also could cause ingrown hairs okay so you want to just make sure you hang it up in a clean dry area um, maybe not in the shower maybe in your room because the shower is gonna get steamy anyway so it'll keep getting wet drying getting wet drying so if you do um, shave I guess just do it the same way really um, it's just that the hairs are growing back so much stronger so it's a big difference but just try it that way and see how it works for you this video was more geared with to exfoliating while waxing but I hope this video helped you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share this video with someone who you know is about to start waxing or is waxing and doesn't know how to properly exfoliate. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.